Are you going places or left behind without a travel companion? Listen to how you can travel more independently. Dr. Mary Travelbest will bring you the best tips and her travel mistakes so you can benefit. Welcome to Dr. Mary Travelbest's special episode on public transportation. In this episode, the FAQ is about vaccines and travel. And the special episode topic is public transportation. The lesson learned is ingrown toenails. The tip is to make a game of travel on long trips. Now for the FAQ. I get this question all the time. Will I need to get a vaccine to travel? So here's the response. The rules are still being written now, and they are likely to change. So if you're getting a vaccine, be sure to save any proof that you can. In case somebody asks you for that, and it's likely that they will. If you get the two-step dose, you may need to prove you've had both doses. You may need it certified and or translated into a language of the country you're visiting. An airline may require certain documents based on the country where they are based. So please see the show notes for more details on vaccines and travel. And now for our special episode on public transportation. Do you love riding on public buses and trains? If they're clean, yes, I do. They are so convenient most of the time I'm traveling, especially in large urban areas. I've been on city buses, and one of my favorite trips was in Valparaiso, Chile, where I rode the city bus randomly around in a circle just to see the city. My Spanish was weak but acceptable, and I was invited by a 12-year-old boy to lunch at his mom's house. They had never seen anyone from the USA in their home before, so my visit was a big deal to them. That's what you find when you ride the bus. It can become an adventure. Subways, like many forms of transit, are often subsidized by the city of origin because they move people faster than above ground and can handle large numbers of people. I've been in subways in so many countries that I can't name them all. There's something about being down in the subway and you come up in a whole different terrain that is exciting and worth time exploring. One of my favorite places to ride the subway is in London, where they call it the Tube, and it transports you around the city without the worries of traffic. Public transportation includes these, buses, subways, trams, trains, boats and ferries, and more. Look at the show notes for more information. Investments in public transportation have potential traffic safety, air quality, and accessibility benefits thus improving associated personal health outcomes. Public transportation has substantially lower crash rates and lower crash severity than automotive travel. During COVID, be more careful with what you touch when in public transportation. Wash your hands as often as you can and don't touch your mask if possible. Now for today's lessons learned. Ingrown toenails. Don't cut your toenails too close. You can make a mess of your toes and the nails take a long time to grow back. The best time to clip them is after you have showered and they are more pliable. So be careful to use the best tools and take your time. Now for today's travel advice, make a game of travel. If you're traveling and bored on your trip, let's make a game of that trip. My friend Chuck Yeager told me about his idea. He said, try to guess where each person you are traveling with is going and what they are doing. You can use the clues you observe to make some good guesses. It works well when you are on a long plane trip, so start having more fun when you travel. Today, I want to bring meaning to your travel, so send me your travel tip. What's on your bucket list? What's on your travel bucket list? Tell the doctor and her team of women who travel the world seeking the very best. Dr. Travel Best, that is.